Guests often wonder what to expect the day of the funeral. Here is the order of events. Family members and guests should arrive no later than 30 to 45 minutes prior to the scheduled start of the service. If the next of kin chooses to make the information available, the starting time and meeting location for each funeral service can be found on our website. Service start times are also provided to the family on the funeral confirmation sheet. A funeral representative will meet the family and guide them through the burial on the day of the service. There are four potential meeting locations for funeral services. Memorial Avenue is the meeting point for funeral services with a large number of people who are attending a gravesite service or are coming in procession from a funeral home or church. If the family requests a chapel service before the gravesite service, then either the Memorial Chapel or the Old Post Chapel on Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall are the meeting points. Please keep in mind that it will take more time to gain access to Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall, where both chapels are located, due to security checkpoints at the installation's gates. Please be aware that requesting a chapel service may add additional time to schedule your loved one's service. If there is no chapel service, then the Arlington National Cemetery Administration Building will be your meeting point. If a caisson is being used, family members and guests are taken to the transfer location where the casket or urn is placed on the caisson from the funeral coach. Family members can choose to walk in the procession. Please keep in mind that Arlington National Cemetery is very hilly and some processions are extended distances, so wear comfortable walking shoes. The procession moves at a moderate pace, and those walking must be able to keep up with the caisson. Also, keep in mind that no vehicles may be left behind at the transfer point or chapel at Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall. Once the caisson or funeral coach reaches the gravesite, members of the military service render a salute. It is appropriate for military members in uniform to render the hand salute at all times while the remains are moving and during the rendering of military honors and taps. Civilian personnel attending should also place their right hand over their heart while the remains are moving and during the rendering of military honors and taps. The casket team secures the casket. The commissioned or non-commissioned officer in charge and the chaplain salute. The family is seated and the officer in charge backs away. The chaplain then performs the service. Once the chaplain concludes the service and backs away, the officer in charge steps forward. A cemetery representative asks the family members to rise for the presentation of military honors. The officer in charge presents arms to initiate the rifle volley. Once the rifle volley is complete, the bugler plays taps. The flag is folded and passed to the officer in charge. and the officer in charge presents the flag to the next of kin. If there's a military chaplain on site, then the chaplain is presented the flag and he then presents it to the family. For veterans of the Army, Air Force, Navy and Coast Guard, an Arlington lady presents a card of condolences to the next of kin on behalf of their service chief. For veterans of the Marine Corps, a Marine will present these condolences. The chaplain or family clergy extends condolences and the cemetery representative announces that the service is concluded. Attendees are asked to return to their vehicles. For more detailed information on burial eligibility and honors, headstones and other grave markers, and burial liners and vaults, please go to our website or call 877-907-8585.